thinking it's going to be orange on its little ears and maybe its little nose or like this de definitely okay never mind i changed my mind are you buying robux or regina gift cards soon well use code megan plays while doing so to help support the hey, channel what's up, you guys it's megan welcome back to my channel today we are checking out the groundhog day update and adopt me today is currently february 1st 2024 time to decorate new groundhog pack new furniture in your home decorate in past future or present style. Let's check it out. I'm not doing a live stream as I would normally do. I just wanted to try to focus on getting a ton of videos done for you guys. And live stream kind of takes like a lot of energy out of me. So well, here we are, we're, we're recording a video. Hello, Royal Desert Egg, how are you doing? Of course, we're gonna keep you in the depths of our inventory to never be hatched or seen again. Let's collect our little daily rewards. Okay, or you know, every our, our four hourly rewards, every four hours you can collect these. And let's take a gander. I definitely lost my login day streak again. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, let's go check out this new update. I'm so excited. Uh, I, I know that people aren't always super pumped about the furniture packs. I know I'm certainly not because as you guys can see, I've had the same house for like years and I'm too lazy to build another one. It, like I used to spend like forever, like eyes burning, just building and trying to make sure it's all perfect. And now I just feel so like, lazy but also to the point where it's like <sighs> why fix what's not broken okay so let's check out groundhog day now you guys know what they say about groundhog day right if the if the groundhog sees its shadow you get like more days of winter if the groundhog emerges from its burrow on this day and sees its shadow it will retreat to its den and winter will go on for six more weeks if it does not see its shadow spring will arrive early when is actual groundhog day oh it already passed and he did see a shadow, meaning we will have six more weeks of winter. Womp womp. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little groundhog pet. Ooh, okay, let's see what we got going on here. So he's cute, he's fun, he's got little buck teeth, um, very adorable. Now the Adopt Me admins did give me some full grown groundhog pets. <laughs> so I will be making a neon. The man behind the slaughter. He joined me. This guy's like, Megan. Oh my gosh. Calm down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't want that guy to like slaughter me. Like what was that about? Let's check out some of this new furniture though. Okay. Groundhog, you can wait there. Oh, we're not. That's okay. As we can see, I did have somebody starting to do a build. Susie builds. I am sorry. I forgot about this completely until I came across it like one day a couple weeks ago and I was like, huh. so, um, I'm sorry. I, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, okay. New. Oh, dystopia medieval Queensland. Okay. So I'm assuming maybe this diner stuff is new. Kind of makes me hungry to see a large diner pizza bed. Sleeping on a bed of pizza. Oh, and, <laughs> and now it's purple. Okay. Uh, anyway, dystopian stuff new like it's okay you can feed your pet out of like a bottle of like a, a, a bowl of gruel like dystopian it's like giving caveman though which maybe it's the same thing just loving this toxic waste barrel okay let's go make a neon let's let's go make a neon groundhog oh my god look at him swim oh my god look at him go he's so cute <laughs> I love him. What should we name him? Harry is the first name that comes to mind. So whenever we get our neon one, we'll name it Harry. So let's go ahead and get these bad boys out. Equip, place, equip, place. All right, what color do we think the groundhog will be? I'm thinking it's going to be orange on its little ears and maybe its little nose or like this, the, definitely, okay, never mind. I changed my mind on this part. The dark brown part is going to be orange. That is my final guess. What do you guys think? All right, let's see. And now, did you guys submit a guess already? Did you hit the like button? And, oh, okay. We were kind of right. Like the nose, I don't know if I said that out loud, but I was thinking like, oh, maybe it's this and this. Um, and But then it's like they did do the tail. So we got some extra, it kind of looks like a skunk. Kind of looks like a skunk pet and it's white. I don't think I've ever seen a white neon pet. So that is interesting. Let's go see what its trade value is, shall we? Hmm, what server? This one, this one. This one is calling my name. 
let's check it out. While we wait for this to load, I'm back, uploading to my vlog channel. Um, they have for you, so, you know, you can check out vlogs that it thinks you might like. Um, or you can just go to videos and check out what I've been uploading lately. The vlog will be out on Saturday. This one went up four days ago, and then we took a three month break, so check it out. We had to wait four minutes for this server. Not the longest amount of time, but still a substantial amount of time. So I'm really hoping we see something really good on the server reveal. Three, two, one, and... Oh, okay, fancy, fancy, fancy. Let's see, okay, so we got some elephants. Love that, peacocks, turtles. I'm not seeing a lot of, oh, I guess I am seeing a lot of neon pets. It's like, is that a neon turtle? I can't tell. Yeah, that is. Okay, so we got a regular turtle, neon turtle, you know, we got some parrots. Ooh, some neon griffins, a little bit of a throwback there. All right, so we got ourselves a groundhog. Maybe I need to like make it writable so it gets noticed a little bit more. There you go, drink up little guy. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is curse. Here, oh my gosh. I need to give this person a capybara if they don't have one. This is an intense trade, okay. Okay, I'm gonna give them a capybara. Gift for you, for free. I don't know if they have a capybara. Wait, are you making a place? Yeah, and you're a capybara. <laughs> I said yes, have fun. Okay, oh no. Not the purple people joining me again. Not the man behind the slaughter coming to join me again. He's so menacing. He's so menacing. <laughs> I, is this like a purple gang of people? Like, I'm so confused. So I wanted to try to trade this groundhog. Um, but I think I'm gonna have a problem because maybe my joins are on and I think I might need to turn them off because that's how you get unfair trades. Um, sorry PG Scott, if you're seeing this, if you're any of these people, I'm so sorry. I, um need to record this video so I can record other videos so see what people are willing to trade. I don't think that anyone's gonna be super interested in this trade. I just feel like Adami's kind of gotten to a point where maybe people aren't interested in the newest, latest, and greatest anymore. Um, and they're more interested in the older pets. For example, we're seeing a lot of shadow dragons, turtles, kangaroos, frost dragons, golden penguins, the ones that aren't in the game anymore. Another frost dragon, another frost dragon, another turtle, um, a koala, a lion. So I'm thinking people aren't really interested in the latest and greatest. Wait, oh, I have one of those. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, no one's sending me trade requests. I just feel like maybe if I had out something like this or... Um, a like are these from the are they from the the Aussie eggs? The Aussie eggs were really popular. Obviously, the jungle and safari eggs as well. Um, and other than that, like look, there's a golden rat right there. Like I just don't think that people are interested in the latest and greatest anymore. And I don't really know what this means for Adopt Me. Um, I guess their player base of See, a crocodile. I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to say. Their player base, I think, has shifted from people who want to play the game and enjoy the game to people who just collect and then that's it. Like, I'm not sure what a lot, like, trading this pets for good safari or jungle or farm egg. See? See, people are only interested in the jungle, farm egg, or safari pets. So if you guys have any of those, you have an old account, you have some pets you don't care about, those are probably gonna be really valuable now. And that's, I think, the conclusion I'm coming up with. I haven't gotten a single trade request. No one has shown interest in my little sick groundhog, unfortunately. Um, and I mean, to be fair, it is a rich server and you can come buy one of these for 150 Robux, which a lot of these people have a lot of Robux. So maybe they're just not interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I have a very, very big announcement coming tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.